Hi guys, Andrew here from Accelerate. Today we're here to do a product feature on the Red Arc TVMS bundle. So what we've got installed here is the Red Arc TVMS, a, that's Total Vehicle Management System, Red Arc BMS, Red Arc Battery Management System, and then the Red Arc Red Vision screen. We'll have to, that's actually on the other side, so we'll get to the screen. For the beginning, we'll talk about the BMS. So that's the thing over there. So that's the battery management system, and it really just handles the charging. So it takes input from alternator, solar panel, and also a 240 cable, like at a caravan park, and outputs a fully DC-DC regulated charge, which goes through the TVMS. So the reason why that is, is because the TVMS has got three really good features. The first one we'll talk about is its battery monitoring feature. So on the screen and also on the app, I'll get this going. We'll show more about it in a minute, but just so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, on the screen and the app, it tells you exactly what's going in and out of your battery. So as you can see here, we've got the fridge and we've got a couple of things running and we're, we're using 6.6 .6 amps. We're in the shade, so we're not really making any solar. I think 0.5 of an amp, so next to nothing. But it's also telling us our battery percentages. So we've still got 70% of battery going on. This is shown better on the screen. But how it works is all the current flows going through it and it uses a shunt connected to the BMS that goes through a CAN cable and that basically monitors everything as it goes through. As part of its monitoring, it also does two temperature sensors. So I've got one in the fridge, one in the freezer, and it also has the ability to do four water tanks. I've got that feature turned off, but that obviously gives it the capacity to have a full installation in quite a large caravan because it'll monitor up to four water tanks. Um, and one of them could be, so three tanks and a gray water if you like. Switching. So it will handle all your switching. I'll refer back to the app again here. So in a second screen, basically, and we'll show you this on the other screen, it's got all, 10 different switching circuits and then also an extra inverter, inverter circuit. So basically you program the screen to have soft keys and each one of them gives you a different circuit. Now on the wall here, I'll sort of, I might actually jump up. So on the wall here, you've got, you'll notice you've got 10, 10 amp, 5 10 amp fuses and 5 30 amp fuses and they pretty much correlate directly to these wires here. So what that is is 5 output 10 amp circuits and 5 output 30 amp circuits. So you'd use the 30 amp circuits for things like your fridge, your travel buddy, um, any sort of lights for me, Anderson plugs because I run a second fridge here. And the 10 amp circuits are things like your hardcore lights, your, um, sorry, I'm just looking around thinking about it. Disco lights in here for show, um, my TV and my USB sockets. So that gives you a full switchability, 10 circuits plus inverter of all different things, whatever you want to wire them up to. Now, one of the brilliant features and why it is a total vehicle management system is because you also get to then give it some inputs. So this plug here, which I've got a few wires going in, you can put different inputs to it. So for example, you'd use like a high beam input, a reverse input, a ignition input, and then you can program each one of these outputs to be uh, so logic controlled. So you can have it so that say, if you are in reverse and you've got the switch on, your reverse lights come on on your canopy, um, my charging circuit that we'll get into, we've used it for that. You can have your fridge on all the time and you can basically program each one of these soft keys to do something different depending on what the vehicle's doing around it. So let's talk about how this thing's wired up. So I can't really do that without touching on these BCDCs here. They are both 1250s. So we've got two 1250s, that'll make sense in a minute. So what we've got is from the start battery, we've run down a OBNS cable, so quite a large cable, all the way down to the cavity behind the fridge there. We've put a stud in and we've split off that. One of them is a 6BNS cable that goes up here to the BMS. So that's our battery 
start battery in, and so it goes into the BMS, that's your alternator charge as such, out of there, into the TVMS here, and then out of the TVMS, off to your auxiliary battery to keep that battery charged. The other thing that we've done is then we've run a couple of other positives via our isolator into these two BCDCs, which then go off to the auxiliary battery as well. The third part of that, just to make it all work, is the actual isolator is switched via one of the soft keys on my, on my app. So I've also got a second red vision screen up on this roof console, which will show you. And while I'm driving, I have the ability to turn on and off those two BCDCs and give myself an extra 100 amp of charge while I'm driving. So without them switched on, Manager 30 is a 30 amp charger, so it takes 30 amps from solar and alternator while you're driving. Then the minute I turn my channel on, on my red vision screen for these BCDCs, it adds another 100 amps, so I can be charging at 130 amps while I'm driving. This vehicle is fitted with an alternator to back it up. That is a mod that's needed to build something like this, but that's another video. But just so you understand, there's also a bigger, much bigger alternator on this vehicle. But that just proves how well you can use the inputs to switch different channels to do different things. So that basically these DC-DCs won't turn on unless the ignition is on as well as the switch is on. So therefore the isolator is not sitting there cooking my start battery while we're not driving. All right, here we are over the other side with my red vision screen. Now, this screen, I've got in the, one on the inside of the vehicle and they are exactly the same. Whatever I do on this one is the same on the other one. They are just paired together via a CAN cable and they are exactly the same. So the features of the screen, we'll harp on this monitoring here. So at the moment, my battery is at 69%. Our current usage is next to nothing. My fridge must have just switched itself off. And um, at this car, oh, there we go, it's starting to do something. At this current usage, I've got 14 days of battery left with my 200 amp lithium battery. Um, what it does though, is it gives me calculations all the time and it shows me where everything's coming from. This is probably a terrible situation because we've got it in the shade and not much is happening. But at the moment, oh, there you go, my solar's flicking on and off. So I just flicked on there. My solar's making half an amp and that is because we're under quite a large tree. Um, but if there was more sun, out of the Manager 30, or if we were driving, it would show a positive amperage and that would be charging my battery. So the next thing it does is all the soft keys. So these are fully programmable, we talked about before, and these link directly back to those 10 outputs I showed you, the 530 amps and the 510 amps. So you can program them, change the symbols, but here we go, we've got you know rear lights, side lights, I imagine that's the camera's picking that up. As I'm turning this stuff on, you'll notice that my battery management, my battery monitoring has completely changed. I'm now using seven amps. I'll get some more stuff going. There's a travel buddy. So I'm now using 16 and a half amps. At this current usage, I've got eight hours left. And what those switches do is they just turn on everything. And this again mimics directly back to my roof console. So while I'm driving, I've got full control of side lights, travel buddy, um, rear lights, all the rest of it. The other extra one, you'll notice there's actually 11 icons if the camera's that good. Your inverter's the final one. Um, it's actually a, that CAN cable that we showed you. And so that's an 11th switch that you get with this system. The third thing this does is it's a full Bluetooth hub. So if you go into the settings, you'll notice a Bluetooth icon here and you can actually pair your phone to this. Now that's the app that I kept showing you. And so you'll notice here, we can just turn everything off. So if you wanna be really cool with your mates, sit around the campfire and turn your stuff on and off, you can do that with your phone. You can also go back to the home screen and that's all your monitoring, your battery percentage, unfortunately the water tanks that I'm not using and showing you your current usage. The other thing you can do with these things, uh, once you purchase one and you've installed it, is there's a configurator. So the configurator app is where you set it all up. So what you can do with that app, even once you've installed it, set it up, you pair the app to this and you can change all those icons, you can move them around 
each time you upload it, you will get whatever you've set it to and get them to switch on at different times. One really cool thing is you can actually then save that file in your phone of that's say system one. You can then create a second one and have system two. So you could even, if you were that into it, you could do like a weekend camping with your mates configurator setup, and then you could have a touring with your caravan setup. The final thing probably to show you is that you'll notice some of these are locked. So this fridge one here is locked and my top button here is locked. I can't actually activate it. What that button is, that's the one that turns the BCDCs on. So when I spoke about using an input, i.e. the ignition with that BCDC input, that icon won't lock, light up and the padlock won't go away until my ignition's on, allowing me to then use that channel. So I've programmed it to be like that um, and that's just, it's like one of the great features of it. So you can lock buttons out to not really do things until you want them to work via inputs on that other plug. The other one I've got, you'll notice the fridge has got a padlock, but it's always on. So the fridge won't actually shut down until the batteries got to a low percentage. So we absolutely love the Red Arc TVMS bundle. We install them all the time and can't recommend them enough. If you want to watch a full video on the, this vehicle build, check it out here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you should watch, check it out here. Question or comment below or give us a call 1300 227 353.